Noor, get off your phone. Why? It'll ruin your sleep cycle. Is that even true? Well, it is true. Light can drive away sleep, but why? Like a camera, light enters the eye and is focused on the retina, where rod and cone cells, our photoreceptors that are essential for vision, transform this image into electrical signals, which are carried to the brain through retinal ganglion cells and the optic nerve. 1% of these ganglion cells, called IPRGCs, have a protein called melanopsin, which plays a role in the release of melatonin, a hormone that assists with sleep. Light with a relatively shorter wavelength of around 480 nanometers nanometers greatly affects melanopsin, signaling to the brain to reduce the release of melatonin, thereby keeping us awake longer. And surprise, surprise, 450 to 495 nanometers is the wavelength of blue light emitted by electronic devices. I guess my parents were right. My phone will drive my sleep away. But my sleep aside, why is this important? Light reaches the retina, even in vision-impaired people whose rod and cone cells do not function. However, IPRGCs, which have melanopsin, still register the light, thereby controlling the release of melatonin and keeping their circadian rhythm, or sleep-wake cycle, on track, even though they can't see the images. The discovery of this powerful third photoreceptor in the late 1900s revolutionized the way we understand the effects of light. <laughs>